All right, so you've just cloned the GitHub repo for this project. The link is in the description for all the videos in this course. Um, and you've maybe opened it up in your text editor. Uh, and I'm just gonna get a preview of that markdown file. And if you're on Linux, you can basically just copy this thing into a shell and it will install kube cuddle, which is the command line um, binary, the program that you use to interact with Kubernetes. If you're on another platform, just uh, use the link in the description here to find the install method that's gonna work for you. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's likely you'll be using Homebrew on Ubuntu, Snap or Native Package Management, which you'll see me do in this video, uh, Chocolatey on Windows, likewise PowerShell. So I'm just gonna show you the Linux version of this. And from here, I'm literally just gonna paste all of this stuff in. Uh, you can see I'm a non-privileged user. All these commands should be prefixed with sudo. So that is the command I'm gonna paste in. First, we're gonna update, we're gonna install app transport HTTPS, which almost always by default is gonna be installed anyway on Ubuntu. Uh, we're gonna curl down their, uh, the Google package signing key, the apt key. Gonna add it. We're going to grab a new apt sources list and then install kubectl. Just gonna hit enter, enter my password. Oh, we weren't even prompted. It's a single package with uh, no other dependencies. So uh, now, if you type in which kube cuddle, you can see that um, you have it installed. And if you type in kube cuddle help, you'll get a actually reasonably helpful uh, help screen that renders. Um, we will look at this uh, in the video after the next one where we actually are using kubectl to interact with our Kubernetes cluster. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at setting up or integrating with the hosted Kubernetes offering from DigitalOcean, which we'll be using throughout this course. It's a really fast setup, so I'll see you in the next one. And in about five minutes, you will be running a Kubernetes cluster on DigitalOcean and you'll be ready to talk to it using this kubectl binary that we just installed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.